Hey everyone, what's up? Daniel here. Today we're taking a look at the last one in the lineup here. This is the iPhone 15 Pro in the white color, white titanium. So let's go ahead and just get right into this and see if it's white. It is kind of, not really, almost. Hmm. Yeah. You know, I've been championing for Apple to bring back actual white for a long time. They basically changed the shade of the white silver phone every year, slightly more white every single time, like less per less and less silver and more towards white. And this year is no different. It might be the exact same as last year. I don't have the other one to compare right now here side by side, but it's still, it's almost white, slight kind of sheen per lessons to it that I just have not been a fan of. I'm still not the biggest fan of the kind of camera ring here on this one in comparison to the colored ones on the other ones because it has kind of like a ghastly feeling like it's a little bit opaque it's not bad but it's not exactly what i personally want from a white phone like i'll show you what i would want is actual white here's the difference this is the iphone 5s or just 5 i'm, I'm not even sure at this point or 4 but this was one of my all-time favorite color combinations because it had the silver sides and there you can see the difference aluminum of course and then it had the actual white back and an actual white back to me just looks absolutely stunning this kind of off-white to me never been a fan i actually would even go as far as to say i wish they would have gotten rid of this color and instead kept the gold in i know it's a little bit crazy because the natural titanium kind of goes to those kind of gold tints and such but this color needs a refresh it needs something different and they're not really doing that. I do like that we're back to kind of actual silver sides instead of the stainless steel here. It looks so much better. It looks more like this iPhone, this older iPhone, but it still doesn't quite do what I want it to do from a kind of white kind of panda look. Like it still has the panda look, just not what I would want. However, if you definitely like those pearlescent machines, you're obviously going to like this. It kind of just depends. There's like two different types of people. Let's go ahead and take this off real quick and boot it up. But there's definitely like two different types of people, right? There's people that like, those like white pearlescent colors on cars and then the actual kind of start really contrasty whites and i definitely like the stark contrasty whites that look like a stormtrooper not really the pearlescent ones with like different sheens and stuff not a fan of that so here it is booted up if you have a max model this is a max model as well just like the one we unboxed previously the black one and the bezels are definitely noticeably smaller even on the smaller version you notice the bezels it's a super welcome addition and also the fact that it's so much easier to hold than previous models. It's uh, just fantastic. If you use the Max models every year, then this is a very nice change. And it might even be worth the upgrade with how much nicer it is to hold. For me, if I had the Max last year, I would upgrade just because the Max is a pain to hold. I think it's just a little bit too bulky. So here we have the Purple Pro Max from last year. And those edges really, really dig in, more so than the smaller models because you're kind of holding it, making sure you don't drop it. And here in this new one, the edges don't dig at all. There is no edges. And so it just feels nice, more comfortable, like you have more grip on it. It's hard to explain, but it feels so much better. The bezels are noticeable. Once you get this phone, you're gonna be like, yep, I definitely see that the screen is more immersive. I think that's overall what you're gonna notice is the immersiveness. Screen size is staying absolutely the same. The actual dimensions of the phone are basically unchanged. It's just kind of fixing that radius around the edges that kind of really changed up the feeling of the phone. And I think it was a great decision from Apple to do that. Now, real quick to get it over with, what else is in the box? Not much, just a braided cable. It is USB-C to USB-C now. And then an Apple sticker that is white. That's gonna do it. The box itself, very simple. Nothing too special either. If you wanna see the braided cable a little bit closer, I have one that I already opened up right here. It is a stunning cable, really nice cable. And of course, you're gonna be able to use it for all your devices now. If you have an iPad, you can use this. If you have uh, a laptop, you can probably use this. It just works for absolutely anything. Obviously, if you have an older iPad, it's lightning, but anything new going forward, that cable is gonna work for absolutely everything you have. Now, the best part, we now have all of the four Pro models here to actually do a quick little color comparison. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna put a screen protector on this one as well. I've put it on all of them just because I don't wanna scratch any of the screens. That way we can really properly stack everything and just take a look at the colors without me being afraid of hitting any of the screens together. It's almost there. 
Alrighty, that was probably my best install out of all of them. I should have just been a little bit more patient with the other ones. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and stack these, no problems. Here we go, not the purple, that's last year's. And mine right here. So there you go. Here we have natural titanium, blue, black, and white titanium. What do you think? What's your favorite color? I would choose my favorite color really there, just because that's kind of more of what the color is gonna look like most of the time. So right there, what is your favorite color? Because they definitely change when you hit the light quite a bit. I think it's a bit unfair to choose the color at its best angle and to choose it at its worst angle so you can really treasure it at its best angle. But yeah, I really like the blue at the best angle. I think it really shines in a really nice way, but when it's dark, I'm not a fan of it. And uh, I think I just like titanium because it's a nice middle ground, not too much color, not too little color, a new color for Apple. And uh, it just looks like it's really nice. Let's kind of put them down here at a distance so you can see them there as well. How does that look? That kind of changes it a little bit too. The white is so bright. The white I've always talked about is a great phone if you also want something that's high visibility. If you tend to lose your phone in a couch, uh, if you have bad eyesight, bad contrast, then the white one's really good because you'll be able to spot it out basically absolutely anywhere around your house. Meanwhile, the black or the blue, that's gonna disappear into a couch, especially if it's late at night or anything like that. It's a weird point, but definitely a point. If you're buying this for an older relative or something, I would definitely recommend a bright phone simply for that. It's just very easy to find around the house and stuff like that, or just slap a very bright case on it. Now we can bring in here the purple from last year, just so you can kind of get a sense of that. And you can see the difference. You can see that the sides would shine a lot. And uh, even from the front through cases, you could see the actual shine of the front. And I always hated that. But now that's absolutely gone. You don't have to worry about it. Even in the brightest one, look at that. It's matted out. It's not super noticeable. You are going to see like silver, but it's not going to reflect back at you or shine it back at you in a really bright, obnoxious way, which I definitely personally just, I always hated stainless steel. It was a horrible choice. I always preferred aluminum. I always wished that the pro models were just made out of aluminum because I prefer the way that it felt. Now let me go ahead and show you how it actually looks here. A little bit more close up, slightly different lighting angle here with the sun kind of hitting it there it definitely is a nice phone it's just not personally a phone i would choose for me because it's not the tint of white that i personally like but if you're liking some of what you're seeing there then you're really going to like it in person there it is can you see smudges on it <laughs> no this one's going to be the hardest to see any smudges on this is going to hide the smudges incredibly well these map backs are just great overall but this white is just not going to show anything there you can see it from a distance, definitely gonna pop the most out of all the colors here. Might even pop more than some of the normal 15 colors that we have here that we're gonna unbox up next. That's how it looks while you're talking and while you're texting right here. Of course, keep in mind this is a Max model, so it looks a little bit big on my hands, but there you go. Definitely the camera lenses are really gonna pop on this, super, super noticeable. Here we put the natural titanium next to it. Um, you can see how much more subtle and dark the natural titanium is by comparison. They're definitely not close at all Two completely different colors and vibes. So, you know, take that for whatever you will to make your decision. I will just stack them all here, even though this is what I do on the color comparisons. Um, there you can see them from a distance. What do you think? Hmm. I still really gravitate, my eye gravitates straight towards the natural titanium, instantly. Yeah, nice colors though, overall. I definitely think that we could have gotten more fun colors, but we'll see next year. I wanted to end it real quick here with showing you how it looks in a clear case because this kind of is the phone color to get a clear case for, simply because white with a clear case always looks super clean. This is no different. I actually think it makes the white look a little bit better because the pearlescence kind of goes away a little bit and gets a little bit more dulled down and it looks maybe even more white. And then we have the white ring here. It just looks super clean, super nice. Maybe even put stickers on this back. It'll look fun. So clear case, really it's designed for these brighter colors. I really like that. And uh, yeah, we'll make This is Apple's clear case and we'll make a separate video about this hopefully soon. And you can see it there. So if you want a clear case, that's how it's going to look. And of course, 
that white's gonna match absolutely any colored case. We'll do a video on Apple's new fine woven cases as well up next soon. These videos are running a little too long to kind of add more stuff into it. But yeah, again, that is the iPhone 15 Pro Max in the white titanium. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and which of these colors you'd personally get because my personal one, and I am sticking with it, will be the natural titanium. Thanks for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.